energy markets are going to be in, in, in serious, they face serious headwinds, you might call it, uh, uh, because they've got maturing debts that they have to pay off and currently have difficulty in rolling off or over. Their exports have uh, fallen off um, because uh, the uh, the, the uh, uh, import surplus of the United States is disappearing. That means that they've got less to export uh, uh, generally. Um, and you also had a, a remarkable uh, bubble in commodities. The commodities have been in a boom for several years. And with the uh, housing uh, um, boom in the United States bursting, when that happened and the dollar declined, you then had a flight to commodities. And the, the boom turned into a bubble. So that's when oil ran up from 70 to 140 in a matter of a few months. And since then, the bubble, the commodities bubble has burst quite viciously. And oil is at 40 from 140. So that affects the oil producing countries. Uh, uh, iron ore which more than doubled in price last year, is now in free fall. That's affecting Brazil and other uh, iron producing. So uh, primary producing countries are, are suffering from the bursting of a commodities boom. So those three things are working against the emerging, these uh, uh, emerging countries. And th that is why it is so important to create conditions which, which keep the banking systems uh, working, provide uh, 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 credit for exports, and enable countries like Brazil that follows, has followed sound macroeconomic policies to engage in counter-cyclical uh, domestic stimulus 